chemical coordination and integration. You have already learned that a point-to-point -point rapid coordination among organs is provided by the neural system. The neural coordination is short-lived but fast, as all cells of the body are not innervated by the nerve fibers and continuously the cellular functions need to be regulated. A special kind of regulation and coordination has to be provided. The hormones carry out this function. The physiological functions in the body is jointly coordinated and regulated by the neural system and the endocrine system. Endocrine glands and hormones. Endocrine glands are called ductless glands as they lack ducts. Their secretions are called hormones. The classical definition of hormone as a chemical produced by the endocrine glands and released into the blood and transported to a distantly located target organ has current scientific definition as follows. Hormones are non-nutrient chemicals which act as intercellular messengers and are produced in trace amounts. A number of new molecules are covered by the new definition in addition to the hormones secreted by the organized endocrine glands. Very simple endocrine systems are present in invertebrates with few hormones whereas in vertebrates a large number of chemicals act as hormones and provide coordination. The human endocrine system is described here. Human endocrine system. The endocrine system possesses the endocrine glands and hormone producing diffused cells or tissues located in different parts of our body. In our body, pituitary, pineal, thyroid, adrenal, pancreas, parathyroid, thymus, and gonads are the organized endocrine bodies. In addition to these, hormones are also produced by some other organs, example gastrointestinal tract, liver, kidney, heart. The hypothalamus. The hypothalamus is the basal part of diencephalon forebrain and it regulates a wide spectrum of body functions. Several groups of neurosecretory cells called nuclei are present in them and they produce hormones. The synthesis and secretion of pituitary hormones are regulated by these hormones. However, two types of hormones are produced by hypothalamus such as the releasing hormones which stimulate secretion of pituitary hormones and the inhibiting hormones which inhibit secretions of pituitary hormones. For example, gonadotrophin releasing hormone, a hypothalamic hormone stimulates the pituitary synthesis and release of gonadotrophins. Somatostatin from the hypothalamus on the other hand inhibits the release of growth hormone from the pituitary. Originating in the hypothalamic neurons, these hormones pass through axons and from their nerve endings they are released. Through a portal circulatory system, these hormones reach the pituitary gland and regulate the functions of the anterior pituitary. The posterior pituitary is under the direct neural regulation of the hypothalamus. The pituitary gland. In a bony cavity called cella tersica, the pituitary gland is present which is attached to hypothalamus by a stalk. Anatomically, the pituitary gland is divided into an adenohypophysis and neurohypophysis. In adenohypophysis, two portions are present, namely pars distalis and pars intermedia. In the pituitary, the pars distalis region, commonly called anterior pituitary, produces growth hormone, prolactin, thyroid stimulating hormone, adrenocorticotropic hormone, luteinizing hormone, and follicle stimulating hormone. Only one hormone called melanocyte stimulating hormone is secreted by pars intermedia. However, pars intermedia is almost merged with pars distalis in humans. Posterior pituitary, also called neurohypophysis, releases and stores two hormones, namely oxytocin and vasopressin, that are synthesized actually by the hypothalamus and are axonally transported to neurohypophysis. Abnormal growth of the body stimulated by the over-secretion of GH leads to gigantism and stunted growth resulting in pituitary dwarfism is caused due to low secretion of GH. The growth of the mammary glands and formation of milk in them is regulated by prolactin. 
the synthesis and secretion of thyroid hormones from the thyroid gland is stimulated by TSH. The synthesis and secretion of steroid hormones called glucocorticoids from the adrenal cortex is stimulated by ACTH. The gonadal activity is stimulated by LH and FSH due to which they are called gonadotrophins. The LH in males stimulates the synthesis and secretion of hormones from testes called androgens. Spermatogenesis in males is regulated by FSH and androgens. Ovulation of fully mature follicles in females is induced by LH. After ovulation, it also maintains the corpus luteum formed from the remnants of the graphion follicles. FSH in females stimulates the development and growth of the ovarian follicles. The melanocytes are acted upon by MSH which regulates the pigmentation of the skin. The smooth muscles of our body are acted upon by oxytocin which stimulates their contraction. In females at the time of childbirth and milk ejection from the mammary glands, it stimulates a vigorous contraction of uterus. Mainly vasopressin acts at the kidney and by the distal tubule stimulates resorption of water and electrolytes thereby reducing loss of water through urine. Hence it is also called as antidiuretic hormone. The pineal gland. On the dorsal side of foreprint, the pineal gland is present. A hormone called melatonin is secreted by pineal gland. A very important role in the regulation of a 24-hour rhythm of our body is played by melatonin. It helps, for example, in maintaining the normal rhythms of sleep, wake, cycle, body temperature. In addition, metabolism, pigmentation and menstrual cycle as well as our defense capabilities are also influenced by melatonin. Thyroid gland. Two lobes located on either side of the trachea constitute the thyroid gland. A thin flap of connective tissue called isthmus interconnects both the lobes. Follicles and stromal tissues constitute the thyroid gland. Follicle of each thyroid is composed of follicular cells enclosing a cavity. Two hormones are synthesized by these follicular cells namely tetraiodothyronine or thyroxine and triiodothyronine. In the thyroid, the normal rate of hormone synthesis iodine is essential. In our diet, deficiency of iodine results in the enlargement of thyroid gland commonly called goiter and in hypothyroidism. During pregnancy, hypothyroidism causes defective development and maturation of the growing baby leading to stunted growth and low intelligence quotient, mental retardation, deaf mutism, abnormal skin, etc. In adult women, menstrual cycle can become irregular due to hypothyroidism. Due to development of nodules of the thyroid gland or due to thyroid gland cancer, there is increase in the rate of synthesis and secretion of the thyroid hormones to abnormal high levels which leads to the condition called hyperthyroidism where the body physiology is adversely affected. In the regulation of the basal metabolic rate, an important role is played by thyroid hormones. Also, the process of red blood cell formation is supported by these hormones. The metabolism of carbohydrates, proteins and fats is controlled by thyroid hormones. Also, the thyroid hormones influence the maintenance of water and electrolyte balance. A protein hormone called thyrocalcitonin is secreted by thyroid gland which regulates the blood calcium levels. Parathyroid gland. In humans, on the back side of the thyroid gland, four parathyroid glands are present, one pair each in the two lobes of the thyroid gland. A peptide hormone called parathyroid hormone is secreted secreted by the parathyroid glands. By the circulating levels of calcium ions, the secretion of PTH is regulated. In the blood, parathyroid hormone increases the calcium ion levels. On bones, PTH acts and stimulates the process of bone resorption. Reabsorption of calcium ions by the renal tubules is stimulated by PTH and from the digested food, it also increases the calcium ion absorption. 
Thus, it is clear that PTH increases the blood calcium levels and it is a hypercalcemic hormone. It plays a significant role in calcium balance in the body along with TCT, thymus. A lobular structure that is the thymus gland is located on the dorsal side of the heart and the aorta. In the development of the immune system, a major role is played by the thymus gland. The peptide hormones called thymosins is secreted by this gland. In the differentiation of T lymphocytes, which provide cell mediated immunity, thymosins play a major role. In addition to provide humoral immunity, thymosins also promote production of antibodies. A decreased production of thymosins results as the thymus is degenerated in old individuals. The immune responses of old persons as a result become weak. Adrenal gland. One pair of adrenal glands, one at the anterior part of each kidney, is present in our body. Two types of tissues are present in the gland. Adrenal medulla is a tissue located centrally and adrenal cortex lies outside this. Two hormones are secreted by the adrenal medulla, namely adrenaline or epinephrine and noradrenaline or norepinephrine, and they are commonly called catecholamine. In response to stress of any kind and during emergency situations, adrenaline and noradrenaline are rapidly secreted and are hence called emergency hormones or hormones of fight or flight. Increase alertness, pup pupillary dilation, piloerection, sweating, etc. are caused by these hormones. Increase in heartbeat and strength of heart contraction and the rate of respiration is brought about by both these hormones. An increased concentration of glucose in blood results as the catecholamines stimulate the breakdown of glycogen. They also stimulate in addition the breakdown of lipids and proteins. The zona reticularis, zona fasciculata and zona glomerulosa are the three layers of adrenal cortex. Many hormones commonly called as corticoids are secreted by the adrenal cortex. The corticoids called glucocorticoids are involved in carbohydrate metabolism. The main glucocorticoid in our body is cortisol. In our body, mineralocorticoids are the corticoids which regulate the balance of water and electrolytes. The mineralocorticoid called aldosterone is the main mineralocorticoid in our our body. Gluconeogenesis, lipolysis and proteolysis are stimulated by glucocorticoids and it inhibits the cellular uptake and utilization of amino acids. In the maintenance of the cardiovascular system as well as the kidney functions, cortisol is also involved. Anti-inflammatory reactions and suppression of the immune response is produced by glucocorticoids in particular cortisol. The RBC production is stimulated by cortisol. The reabsorption of sodium ion and water and excretion of potassium ion and phosphate ions is stimulated by aldosterone which acts mainly at the renal tubules. Aldosterone thus helps in the maintenance of electrolytes, body fluid, volume, osmotic pressure and blood pressure. The adrenal cortex secretes small amounts of androgenic steroids which during puberty play a role in the growth of axial hair, pubic hair and facial hair. Pancreas a composite gland which acts as both exocrine and endocrine gland is the pancreas. The islets of Langerhans are present in the endocrine pancreas. In a normal human pancreas, there are about 1 to 2 million islets of Langerhans representing only 1 to 2 percent of the pancreatic tissue. Alpha cells and beta cells are the two main types of cells in the islet of Langerhans. A hormone called glucagon is secreted by the alpha cells while insulin is secreted by the beta cells.
A peptide hormone called glucagon plays an important role in maintaining the normal blood glucose levels. On the liver cells, mainly glucagon acts and it stimulates glycogenolysis which results in an increased blood sugar. In addition, the process of gluconeogenesis is stimulated by this hormone which also contributes to hyperglycemia. The cellular glucose uptake and utilization is reduced by glucagon. A hyperglycemic hormone thus is glucagon. A peptide hormone called insulin plays an important role in the regulation of glucose homeostasis. Insulin enhances cellular glucose uptake and utilization and acts mainly on hepatocytes and adipocytes. As a result, from blood to hepatocytes and adipocytes, there is a rapid movement of glucose resulting in decreased gluco blood glucose levels. Insulin is the, in the target cells also stimulates conversion of glucose to glycogen. Insulin and glucagons jointly maintain the glucose homeostasis in blood. Diabetes mellitus, a complex disorder caused by prolonged hyperglycemia, is associated with loss of glucose through urine and formation of ketone bodies which are harmful compounds. Successfully with insulin therapy, diabetic patients are treated. Testis. In the scrotal sacs of male individuals, a pair of testis is present. Dual functions are performed by testis as a primary sex organ as well as an endocrine gland. Testis is composed of seminiferous tubules and stromal or interstitial tissue. A group of hormones called androgens, mainly testosterone, are produced by the Leydig cells or interstitial cells which are present in the intertubular spaces. The development, maturation and functions of the male accessory sex organs like epididymis, vas deferens, seminal vesicle, prostate gland, urethra, etc. are regulated by the androgens. Muscular growth, growth of facial and axillary hairs, aggressiveness, low pitch voice, etc. are stimulated by these hormones. In the process of spermatogenesis, a major stimulatory role is played by the androgens. Androgens influence the male sexual behavior as well as act on the central neural system. These hormones on protein and carbohydrate metabolism produce anabolic effects. Ovary. In the abdomen, females have a pair of ovaries. In females, the primary sex organ is ovary, which during each menstrual cycle produces one ovum. In addition, two groups of steroid hormones are also produced by ovaries, namely estrogen and progesterone. Ovarian follicles and stromal tissues forms the ovary. By the growing ovarian follicles, mainly estrogen is synthesized and secreted. The ruptured follicle after ovulation is converted into a structure called corpus luteum, which mainly secretes progesterone. Wide-ranging actions are produced by estrogens such as stimulation of growth and activities of female secondary sex organs developing of growing ovarian follicles, appearance of female secondary sex characters, memory gland development. Female sexual behavior is also regulated by estrogens. Pregnancy is supported by progesterone. On the mammary glands, progesterone acts and it also stimulates the formation of alveoli and milk secretion. Hormones of heart, kidney and gastrointestinal tract. However, hormones as mentioned earlier are also secreted by some tissues which are not endocrine glands. For example, a very important peptide hormone called atrial Natriuretic factor secreted by the atrial walls of our heart decreases blood pressure. ANF is secreted when blood pressure is increased and it causes dilation of the blood vessels which reduces the blood pressure. The peptide hormone called erythropoietin is produced by the juxtaglomerular cells of kidney which stimulates erythropoiesis. In different parts of the gastrointestinal tract, endocrine cells are present and they secrete four major peptide hormones, namely gastrin, secretin, 
cholecystokinin and gastric inhibitory peptide on the gastric glands gastrin acts and stimulates the secretion of hydrochloric acid and pepsinogen on the exocrine pancreas the hormone uh, secretin acts and stimulates secretion of water and bicarbonate ions on pancreas and gall bladder hormone cck acts and stimulates the secretion of pancreatic enzymes and bile juice gastric secretion and motility is inhibited by the hormone gip hormones called growth factors are secreted by several other non endocrine tissues for the normal growth of tissues and their repairing or regeneration these factors are essential mechanism of hormone action on target tissues hormones produce their effects by binding to hormone receptors which are specific proteins located in the target tissues only membrane bound receptors are the hormone receptors which are present on the cell membrane of the target cells and intracellular receptors are the receptors present inside the target cell which are mostly nuclear receptors a hormone receptor complex is formed by the binding of a hormone to its receptor receptors are specific specific as each receptor is specific to one hormone only in the target tissue hormone receptor complex formation leads to certain bio biochemical changes hormones regulate physiological functions and target tissue metabolism hormones can be divided into groups on the basis of their chemical nature one peptide polypeptide protein hormones two steroids three iodothyronines Four amino acid derivatives. Normally, membrane-bound receptors that the hormones interact with do not enter the target cell but generate second messengers, which in turn regulate cellular metabolism. The intracellular receptors with whom the hormones interact with mostly regulate gene expression or chromosome function by the interaction of hormone receptor complex with the genome. Physiological and developmental effects result due to cumulative biochemical actions. Thank you so much for watching. Please share this video with your friends. Leave your comments below. Please subscribe to my channel for more content. Click that bell notification that would let you know when a new video is uploaded. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, please subscribe to my channel for more content. For more videos, please check the description box down below.